Geez, I love waking up on a Thursday morning knowing that it's another trip to the thrift, guys. Another chance to get out into the op shop and find some absolute treasure. Hey, thanks very much for joining me. Really appreciate you clicking on this video. It's going to be a fun one today. I've woken up with a bunch of optimism that we're going to find some really cool items. So if you're here for the first time, guys, uh, I do this video, well, I do this one once a week, but I do three videos every single week talking about all things online reselling. So if you're into reselling by any means, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like. It is very very much appreciated. Like I said, I've just got a good feeling about today. I think that the op shops we're going to get into are going to have some absolute gold for us to grab. So I sell on Facebook, I sell on eBay. Uh, great way to make some money. If you're doing it casually, I'm personally doing it full time, but I think there's a real opportunity out there, especially with what's going on in the world at the moment, to make a few extra dollars. And that's why I've started this YouTube channel. So if you're a regular viewer, welcome back to another episode. And if you're a newbie, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because hopefully you're gonna gain some value out of this channel. But uh, I'm only a couple of minutes away from the first op shop. Let's jump into it. Hopefully we can kick off with a bang for the first one. bad guys first op shop of the day done um, a couple of board shorts I've, I've, I typically get a lot of clothing in this, in this op shop and that's exactly what's happened here today so I've been able to find these Nike running um, dry fit shorts now they are a really cool pattern I like the color to them as well they're a size medium too which isn't too bad um, these board shorts or running shorts I should say probably about $20 on eBay I'd say for those pretty much all the board shorts I've got another five pairs here probably about $20 on resell all your typical brands so I've got a Quicksilver one just there uh, kind of a nice uh, color pattern to it as well so I've got that rip curl I've bought rip curl that goes on to sell really well what I will say with the board shorts, one thing to look out for is obviously the brand names are really great, but it's actually the length of the board short that a lot of people, certainly here where I am on the Gold Coast, they prefer a shorter length, not so much the old school really long leg, but actually the shorter leg seems to be selling better. So I am a bit strategic about which board shorts I'm buying, one for brand, but also the actual length. So maybe just one thing to keep an eye out for, because I'm certainly seeing a difference when I'm buying the smaller ones, they just seem to sell better. Um, these ones here, another Quicksilver pair, cool pattern to it. These ones are slightly larger. Oh no, they were just a 34. Um, but they're quite nice as well. Um, I've got Unit, which I don't see a whole lot of, but I'm happy to grab it because I know it is quite popular. This one's got an awesome color to it as well. So I thought I'd grab those. Um, so that's another pair. Another pair of short um, rip curl shorts. As you can see, the length on those, that's what I'm talking about. Just something that's sort of above the knee. Uh, so anyway, they are all the board shorts. I bought six pairs of those. Um, everything today, 15 items. The average cost of goods was $5.66 because I did use a $20 off card to bring that cost down to $5.66 per item. Um, so everything that I'm going to show you today, think in your mind $5.66 and what can the upsell be? The comps will tell you here. Um, I walked up to the counter knowing that these Tommy Hilfiger polo shirts or um, button-up shirts, I should say, 
were $12. Now, personally, I wouldn't buy Tommy's for $12 in the shirts because I think the resale is probably about $25. Um, so just not enough margin in there to really go through the process of listing and selling and posting. Um, but with the $20 off card, it brought the average, including these, down to that $5.66 amount. So I'm happy to pay $5.66. If I didn't have the $20 off card, I wouldn't have bought. So I've got two of these button-ups, both short sleeve, Tommy Hill figure, in very good condition. The size as well, we've got an XXL, which isn't the end of the world. I'm happy to get the larger size. And then this one as well, I think this one was a little bit smaller. This one was just a large as well. So just a very plain essential. It's got the logo there, Tommy Hill figure button there, as you can see. So. And then another brand that I talk about quite a lot, guys, as well is RVCA. So I had to get the plain shirt, just the RVCA. This one is a size, uh, what do we got? XL, so another good size to grab. Um, grab that one as well. That'll sell for about $15 to $20 on eBay. These shorts are an interesting one. Sugio or Sugio, I don't know exactly the pronunciation, but have a look at the pattern on it. Look at the embroidery. Um, I really couldn't say no to that. I will say that there are no comps whatsoever on eBay for this brand, but when I Googled it, the jeans were very, very expensive. So if the jeans were expensive, I'm thinking that I might be able to flip these for a couple of dollars on eBay. I might roughly go at 40 to $50 for these and just see how we go, because they do look like a very good make. And that embroidery is just something else. So I kind of couldn't really pass it. Um, there was another pair of them, but because there wasn't any comps to tell me otherwise, I just went with the one pair. Um, so one pair of those, if it sells well, I'll keep an eye out for them, but I just wasn't sure. So I thought I'd just run the risk and give it a chance and just give it a buy. Um, so hopefully it pays off for me. We will soon find out. Um, as well, uh, another couple of brands to look out for, Kiss Chasey. Um, Kiss Chasey is a cool brand. If you do come across it, definitely grab it. It's a brand that, you know, youngsters like to buy. Just a pair of plain, um, just a pair of plain shorts. Nothing fancy about it, but they should sell for about 20, 25. Um, as well, Nina Pasadena. I've spoken about this brand a little bit, um, but Nina Pasadena is a cool brand to get your hands on. Again, just a very plain denim short, but 20 to 50, uh, 20 to 25 dollars there for those. And the other brand, Oakley. Um, so I grabbed a pair of Oakley shorts as well. These are quite nice. Again, 20 to $25. Now I've only paid five, so that's some pretty good upsell. Um, so look, a lot of clothing there. It was a heap of shorts, to be honest. There was um, four uh, shirts in there, but everything else um, was the board shorts and the sort of your cargo type shorts. Um, the other one as well is I bought the Funko Pop um, watcher. Now this is a glow in the dark version, so it's obviously worth a little bit more. Horizon Zero Dawn. Now I don't know anything about it, but I comped it while I was at the counter when you saw, the, I guess, the run of all the pops. And this one's worth about $55. So I had to grab this one. It's got a tiny bit of corner damage. I don't know if you can see that there just a tiny bit, but I don't think that's gonna lessen the value of this one too heavily. I know with the pops, you do want them in pristine condition, but I bought this one in the end, well, $5.66 is the average, so that's really what I've paid. It did have a $16 tag on it, but the upsell was 55, so in any case, it was well worth getting my hands on. Um, so I've bought that as a Funko. I had a look at the other ones, and to be honest, they were quite damaged. So regardless of what their resale value was, I had to pass on those simply because of the damage. Um, so that was the 15th and final item that we were able to pick up in this store. So not too bad of a start to the day. A lot of clothing, which is very, very good, certainly in the sense of the shorts, because that's selling very well here in the summertime in Australia. Um, so let's move on to the second op shop, and hopefully we can find some more gold.
Awesome op shop number two of the day, guys. I managed to find these Liverpool New Balance shorts uh, with the embroidery and all. These are in great condition. I'd say almost like new. They're a size medium, which isn't too bad either. That was just an awesome find. Whenever you find anything sort of sporting branded, um, any sort of sports team, it's always a good thing to pick up because there are some really big fans out there. Um, so I grabbed those. These Nike Odysseys, these are in like new condition. They literally whacked them on the shelf the minute I walked in and I took them straight off. $15, a little bit more than what I'd normally spend on shoes, but have a look at them. They have just not literally not been worn. Um, I think the resale value on these are about a hundred bucks. So I'll put the comps up here as always, but I was just wrapped to find those sitting in the uh, op shop. Shoes like that, unbelievable that people just throw them away. Um, also found a pair, oh, actually this t-shirt as well, Land Rover. It caught my eye because obviously Land Rover is a great brand, but it also had tags on it as well. This one was a double XL and I did the comps while I was in store and I reckon because it's got the tags on it, I could get about $75 for this top. Um, really good make. Uh, it's got the little side panel bit here as well. So I checked out those comps on eBay and they were talking to me. So I spoke back and I grabbed it. Um, this one didn't cost a lot of money. I can't even remember the cost of this one, but I had to grab it. $75 resale potential. Um, we'll see how we go. I'll firm up exactly what the price will be, but I saw some pretty good comps. So I just had to cop that. Oh, and then also to this Simpsons t-shirt. Now I did a few comps as well on eBay for Simpsons Vintage because this was 2000. So I've been able to find some 1990s tees that have been going for about $100, $150. So I've got to do a lot more research onto this one. This one is, um, it has a tag that says top heavy. Um, so top heavy, it's a size large. If you know anything about t-shirts in the vintage space, um, let me know what your thoughts are on this. It had that small embroidery down the very bottom here that says Matt Groening, um, and then it says Fox 2000. So it's a 20 year old t-shirt, it's a Simpsons tee. Not sure if it's worth anything, but I thought for $3, how could I not pick it up? Love to find that sort of stuff when I'm out in the op shops. Always look for that little date code along the bottom if you can find them on the t-shirts because anything over 20 years could potentially be worth a bit of money. Um, so found all of that couple of items in there, not a lot of money spent, some really high value items there. It was just the four, but I really made sure I picked the right items. And I was happy to come away with a pretty good result there in those four. So second op shop today, quality over quantity. Let's get on to op shop number three and hopefully we can find just as good of a stuff in that one. third op shop of the day guys i found a couple of goodies um managed to find a couple of pairs of mizunos a women's pair here which is just the plain whites they look kind of nice nothing wrong with them at all only paid eight dollars these were the wave riders um so i have to do a bit of research into the comps on these i'll put it up here for you have a look at but these are a size nine so a very good size to get your hands on i also found a men version as well um they were really cool in great condition as well nothing wrong with the soles again we're talking eight dollars for a pair of shoes guys so you're going to always make some money uh wave sky three is the ones for these so i'll put that up there for you have a look at certainly dollars to be made found the nike um soccer um leg guards uh look i don't know what the exact resale value of these are going to be but they were really really cheap and nike i can imagine the retail on these would be quite a bit so i've picked them up as well just on a whim i reckon there's going to be a few dollars to be made in there um i also found the vermont basketball um university of vermont uh nike polo shirt so I had to grab that as well. I thought that looked really cool. I don't know what the resale value is gonna be, but I'm happy to grab anything in American sporting apparel because it sells very well over here in Australia. So a bit of a random find over here on the Gold Coast, but I'm happy to pick that one up. Um, also found a Canadians uh, as well, Montreal Canadiens NHL. 
Um, I think it's Carey Price, number 31. Happy to find that one too. It's uh, hopefully going to go for about $20 or $25. Um, again, American Sport, always happy to get my hands on it. Um, a Ralph Lauren uh, pair of jeans as well. These are a women's size 28. The comps were okay for them, so I thought I'd just grab them. They are a quality pair of jeans. So in good nick, nothing really too wrong with them. I do think the resale value will be pretty good. I paid just five bucks, guys. I paid five bucks for pretty much everything you've seen so far, so the cost of goods was fairly low. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. I also found a pair of New Zealand Warriors NRL shorts as well, guys. So NRL, the rugby league over here in Australia, like I said before, I'm just buying anything with a sporting aim on it because it does just seem to sell well. Um, so happy with that. This is just a plain black and white um, polo shirt. Uh, it's a Nike shirt, um, great for golf. This one will get snapped up for about $20 to $25. It just holds, like I mentioned earlier in the episode, this sort of fabric just holds really well. Um, so golfing polos are always a great one to get your hands on. Um, and I think that was pretty much everything for stop number three. So all in all, an average cost there of about $5 per item. And as you can see by the comps I was whacking up for you there, there's gonna be some good resale value. Um, oh, there was one that I didn't show you actually, but I don't know if this is gonna be worth much. Um, this one was, a, well actually it will, it should be worth a bit. Tommy Bahama, so I found Tommy Bahama. This one had a sample brand, uh, or a sample tag I should say on it as well. So I don't know if that means anything, but this one was just a plain like short sleeve, button up, checkered, um, collared shirt, obviously silk, Tommy Bahama, very good quality gear if you can get your hands on Tommy Bahama. Uh, paid $5 again for that, it had the sample tag, so I thought there might be some more value than, than not. Um, so that was just the last one that I found in that one. So. All in all, there's been some pretty good pickups here today. A lot of clothing, but um, that's just what's been putting out in front of me. So whatever I see is what I'll grab, and that's the only thing that I've been seeing. So happy to grab it. Uh, let's get on to op shop number four. Hopefully we can end the day with a bang and find some really good uh, items in the last one. So let's push on. <laughs> that op shop for as much as I could and I've come away with just a few CDs. It's been a $10 spend, but I reckon the resale value is gonna be pretty good. Always pays to look for your CDs and your music DVDs. I'll jump in the car and I'll show you what I got. So I found Pendulum. Um, the Pendulum CD, this was three knocks. Uh, I had a quick search on eBay. Actually, I had a quick search on literally every single CD in there. I spent a lot of time with the CDs and the DVDs. This one uh, spoke to me. So this one was three knocks. Now, this one was about $33 on eBay. There was one sold comp for 33 bucks. That was enough to make me say I'll grab this one. Um, so I picked that up. And then I also found uh, a heap of Powderfinger live concert DVDs. Now these actually sell really well. Firstly, this one here, this is the Across the Great Divide tour. Um, that one sold for, oh, I think it was like 20 or $30 as well. So I grabbed him and these weren't as much, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bundle them together, which is a very, I guess, great way of increasing the overall cost. Um, so this was the the uh, These Days Powderfinger Live in Concert um, uh, DVD. So I think that was about $15. So if we say like 25 and 15, those two are worth 40. And then if we go with the Powderfinger Sunsets Farewell to a DVD, I think that was about 15 as well. So two 15s and a 25, we're looking at about $55 as a package deal for the three. Um, so that's sort of the way I'm going to do it. Plus, obviously, the pendulum as well. You're probably going to get about, hopefully, $25 to $30 for that as well. So I've paid just $10 for these four music DVDs and CDs. 
and the resale value is going to be somewhere around the 80 to 90 dollar mark so it's a crucial category to pay attention to as much as the clothes and the shoes and the sporting equipment the plush toys they're all great categories this is another one to pay attention to because the old school stuff doesn't get sold as much anymore and some of them are worth really really good value so i was happy to dig around and find these i could have to be honest spent a lot more time i think if you've got the time in your day to just go to an op shop and sift through the often hundreds of cds and dvds that they have more often than not you'll come away with a very very good profit because most places sell them for just a couple of dollars so happy to do that happy to you know spend the time not a, not a heap of time but enough time to be able to find 80 to 90 dollars worth of potential profit with just a ten dollar spend so good one to round out the day it wasn't a massive day in the end um a heap of stuff bought but no sort of you know really big ticket item a lot of stuff that's just going to i guess keep me ticking over um i always try and keep having a heap of inventory coming in regardless of the resale value as long as there's a good you know potential of twenty dollars per item um i'm happy to have it so all in all today, I'm pretty happy with everything. I need to get back home and I need to put it all into the system as I always do. Um, and then I need to start listing because what I'm doing now is I've got an eBay store and the eBay store has been running really well for me. And I highly encourage anyone that resells part-time to full-time, obviously full-time, um, to get yourself an eBay store. It's just $25 a month and you get those 600 free listings. So that's really helped me out. And what I'm starting to do now is I'm doing 10 listings every single day. And I'm finding with the algorithm on eBay that I'm generating more sales as a result of putting 10 in every single day on a listing front. So that's really helped me as a bit of a strategy. Uh, over the last maybe one or two weeks that I've been doing it, I've started to see the sales on my analytics really increase. Um, so that's been really good, putting a bit more of a focus into eBay and obviously sticking with Facebook Marketplace because I'm still doing a heap of that as well. But this will all go a long way towards the next few days of listing, uh, doing my 10 a day. I'm pretty much up to date at the moment with everything back home. So this was a really cool day to go out and grab a few things. Um, so I'm going to get home. I'm going to list it all up. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know what your most favorite item was that I was able to purchase today. Um, let me know what your best item of the week has been so far from your own sourcing point of view. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. Look forward to catching you in the next one, guys. I'll do a what sold video on Sunday uh, to show you my best sales of the last two weeks. Um, and I'll give you a recap on my sales numbers as well. So hopefully uh, you can stick around for that in a couple of days time. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode as well. Thanks very much for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode.